Okay, so now that we have modified our dungeon file, we are actually ready to test this out in-game. Uh, we didn't do a whole lot, but uh, we'll see some results in just a second. Now before we can actually test it in-game, we have to go to our Mods tab, and we have to build this mod. We have to go to the Mod menu, go to Package and Publish, and if this is your first time opening this window, um, this is probably going to be checked and you want to uncheck this because we're just messing around and you don't want to publish this to Steam um, well I don't think you do but so go ahead and uncheck that and then hit your build button and we'll get a confirmation that our mod was created successfully and now you can go ahead and exit this window and our mod is built so instead of going through Steam or the Start menu, we can actually click right here in View, and then go to Run, and open our Mod Launcher .execute. or you can use the uh, keyboard shortcut of F6. So I'll go ahead and launch that now, and if we do Play plus Mods, we will see our dun our my first dungeon mod that we just created. And you can check that off and then launch Torchlight with mods. Alright, I'm going to make a brand new character here. Okay. And once we're in the game, I'm going to open up the console window. I'm going to do that by pressing the insert button on my keyboard. And since we don't have an actual dungeon entrance in the overworld, we have to access our dungeon through the console window. And to do that, we're going to use uh, this command, um, you just type dungeon, space, and then the name of your dungeon. So my first dungeon, and this is the name that we uh, saved in our, our dungeon editor file. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, and that'll load up our dungeon that we made. You'll see there's our My First Dungeon title, My First Dungeon over the map. Okay. In the console, I'm going to type in Godspeed. That's going to set it to God mode and give me a speed boost so I can explore faster. So here we are in this randomized dungeon that we just changed to suit our needs. There's a zombie champion and some zombie zombie uh, monsters. You see they're level 1. And this is from our spawn classes and our uh, level range that we set. So you can see it's all this stuff. I'm going to go back up to the entrance here and this should take us to our standard exit location which is the salt, salt barrens and we define this in our parent dungeon. And there we are, the salt parents. Now, one thing you have to note here is that if I open the console back up and load that dungeon again, I'm going to end up getting the same dungeon. Now, if I want to load a new instance of this dungeon without exiting the game, all I have to do is type in the same command, dungeon, my first dungeon. But now I'm going to do a comma, space, and then type any number you want. This is a seed. And the seed is a number that tells a computer how to randomly generate something. So you just have to use a different seed if you want a different dungeon. So two, three, four, five. That's going to be my number. I'll hit enter and that will generate the same dungeon but different. And the only other thing I wanted to mention here was the debug menu that we turned on in the settings file. If you hit control F it opens this little information pane down here and that's what the debug menu does so a little bit of information doesn't hurt. That's it for this video. Uh, in the next video, we'll be talking about level rule sets and how to create custom monster spawn classes. Thanks for watching.